The Lord be with you. We've gathered together to worship God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. To think about the parable of the lost sheep. And today we're thinking about the value joy. I'm going to show you three pictures and there are three joyful children and then we're going to think about why they might be joyful. Here's the first picture. It's a little girl looking very joyful and another little girl. Maybe it's a bit easier to see why she's so joyful. And finally, a little boy. Let's start with the little boy. Why do you think he might be joyful? I think it's something to do with that wonderful gold cup that he's just won. We don't know what it's for, but he's thrilled. He's full of joy. And I bet that when he takes that cup home, his mum and dad are going to be full of joy too. Let's go back to the little girl in the second picture. What's making her so joyful? Well, I think it's something to do with that lovely white rabbit she's cuddling. Pets often make us joyful, don't they? And she's laughing, she's so happy, she's full of joy. And the first picture. Well, we might not know why this little girl is so joyful, but it could be that it's a beautiful summer's day. If you can see the light glinting off her hair and the flower in her hair, she's got her thumbs up, maybe she's on holiday, maybe she's having a lovely party with friends out in the countryside, and she too is full of joy. In the parable of the lost sheep, we hear how the shepherd is full of joy when he finds his sheep, especially when he gets home. So I'm going to try and tell that story now and help you to think about all the different emotions in the story. There was once a shepherd who had a hundred sheep. He knew and loved every one. Every day he took his sheep out and onto the hills to find grass for them to eat. It was quite tiring. When he returned home, the shepherd would count his sheep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way up to a hundred. But one night when he was counting them back into the fold as usual, he discovered that there were only ninety-nine. He was horrified. One of his precious sheep was missing. So the shepherd left the other 99 because he was determined that he was going to find that lost sheep first before a wolf or something else did. And after he'd walked many miles, he suddenly heard a sound. The shepherd followed the sound and to his utter relief. He found the sheep trapped but unharmed. He gently freed the sheep, picked it up carefully in his arms and carried it home. And when he got home he woke everybody up. Let's have a party! he shouted excitedly. You must celebrate with me! 
because the sheep that was lost is found. He was full of joy. I wonder how your teacher would feel if you all went out onto the field and then when it was time to come back in, one of you was missing. I imagine your teacher would be horrified, just like the shepherd in our story. And just like the shepherd in the story, your teacher would search everywhere to find the missing child. And when the missing child was finally found, they'd be overjoyed. The parable of the lost sheep is sometimes called the parable of the good shepherd. Just as the shepherd cares for his sheep, just as your teacher cares for each one of you, so Christians believe that our Father God, like the shepherd, cares for every one of his children, as if they were the only one. He cares for all of them, but each one is special, as if they were the only one. Let's take a moment to be still. I'm going to say a short prayer, and if you'd like to make it your own, please say Amen at the end. Loving Father God, Thank you for loving every one of us as if there were only one of us. Amen.